Hi, I'm meteorologist just Chris Stomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions. This is the snow before you go on the snow forecast. Always appreciate you tuning in here. So we've got some exciting weather here. A couple of different storm systems for the west um, through Christmas and then beyond Christmas as well. So we'll get into the analysis again. Here is the jet stream. In other words, what we're talking about here is the storm track. And look at the dip across Wyoming and Utah and Colorado. Eventually, that will begin to move. And that's going to move away. Wednesday will be a powder day across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. But that storm will move. And look at this amplification by the time we get into Thursday afternoon, so Christmas Eve. What that's going to do, while it is going to support a storm system, it's also going to pump a lot of warm air into the northeast. So, you know, it really just takes the right ingredients and the right setup for big snow at the north in the northeast ski areas, which we saw last week with the nor'easter. But this one. Looks like it's going to be too warm. It will have snow on the backside, but it looks light. Then the pattern changes. We'll probably have a big high pressure over the west on Christmas Day, but that will erode. And then look what sets up a nice bend in the jet stream here with moisture flowing into California. So we're finally going to get some good snow into the Sierra. And then all that moisture will begin to move into the interior west through Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. And that's the case on Sunday as well. Look at the jet bending and pushing moisture into the west. Overall pattern, this is the snow accumulation Wednesday through Sunday where you see the brighter pinks, that's where, that's where we're going to see the higher accumulations through the Sierra into the interior right there across the interior northern Rockies. Unfortunately though, like I was saying, I just don't see much for the northeast over the next five days. All right, so Wednesday is likely going to be a powder day. Here's what I'm talking about. Some of those accumulations in the Wednesday morning before this thing tapers off. I mean, we're talking powder through Little Cottonwood, Big Cottonwood, up into the Tetons, up into uh, the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So take advantage of that powder on Wednesday. Then we get a break. This is Friday. This is Christmas. There's not a lot happening Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. But beyond that, like I was saying, here comes the bending of the jet. Look at the numbers ticking up in California over the High Sierra. So Saturday is the powder day there. And then that begins to move inland. The numbers tick up across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado with that Saturday-Sunday storm system. Look at the numbers through uh, all three of those states. So another powder day shaping up probably on Sunday in Colorado, especially up there in the central and northern mountains. These are all grand totals. By the time we get into Sunday morning, we might add a little bit into Sunday night. Now, the numbers that you see right there through Utah are probably on the conservative side. And this is pretty typical, right? But look at Alta. We could add 10 to 12 inches between Saturday and Sunday there on the snow plume as that bends up. So just keep that in mind. Those numbers you saw could be on the conservative side. And again, in the northeast, I just think it's with the storm track, it's totally different than the nor'easter we had last week. There's not as much cold air. The track is not as good. And so you're going to end up with probably rain on the entire front side of the storm and then a little bit of snow on the back side. All right. I always appreciate you again tuning in here, especially around Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and New Year and all of that. Um, of course, we'll have another update next week. But thank you for tuning in here on this On the Snow Report.